We knew this day would come eventually, but we weren't sure how soon. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is an early look at TouchWiz with Android 4.2.2 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Shortly after the Galaxy S4 was announced, along with the new version of TouchWiz, Samsung confirmed many of the new features would make their way to other Galaxy branded devices, namely the Galaxy S3, in the form of an update. But it wasn't clear what the extent of the update would be, which new features would make their way to the S3 and which would be deemed incompatible. Lucky for us, we woke up this morning to a treat, courtesy of Sam Mobile, a leaked version of the 4.2.2 update for the i9300, the global variant of the Galaxy S3. So what does this leaked firmware entail? Quite a bit, actually. Of course, you get all the benefits of Android 4.2.2. Daydream, for example, is now available in the display settings. Notifications with actions are found in the notification shade, as well as the settings toggle page. And select widgets are available from the lock screen. And the lock screen is where some of the first changes are apparent. Widgets aside, you can quickly access the camera with a swipe to the left. The old ripple effect has been updated and is much more polished. And although it doesn't follow your floating finger around, there is a light unlock effect on the S3, similar to the S4. Once you get past the lock screen, the changes and improvements begin to pile up. It doesn't look all that different at first glance, but when you pull down the notification shade, it's easy to see the brightness slider has been updated, particularly when auto brightness is enabled. There are also many more settings and toggles in the notification shade, a la the Galaxy S4. Screen mirroring, S-beam, driving mode, smart stay, etc. If you jump into the settings app, like the S4, the interface is now tabbed in four subsections. Connections, my device, accounts, and more. And after digging around, there are minor changes to be found all throughout the settings. In display settings, there is now an adapt display checkbox in the screen mode, as well as a professional photo mode. And if you want, you can remove the brightness slider in the notification panel. From the application drawer, we found an additional widget called Smart Widget, which toggles the direct call, smart stay, voice control, and S-beam features. As for which S4 features made the cut, there are quite a few things missing, which we imagine is tied to hardware. There is no option for air view, nor are there any air gesture features, but that shouldn't come as a surprise. What is surprising, however, is the lack of smart scroll and smart pause. Opening the camera app, we were surprised to find that it has remained almost completely untouched in this update. Drama shot, dual camera, and other S4 camera software features are absent. But the gallery app does come with a rather strange change. If you switch to the 3D view in the gallery, the background is an unsightly white. Also, the dialer is the same old black and blue dialer, not the updated white dialer found on the S4. So we must iterate, this update is clearly not finished. Sam Mobile claims the official update will roll out in June, and we're hoping more of the S4's features are brought over to the S3. Specifically, we hope the camera and smart screen features make the cut. That's going to do it for this video, so if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and follow us in all of the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time.